Welcome back to the Dalaran Heist. We have made it all the way through the four uh, pre-stages into the, the Citadel. That's what it's called. I believe that's correct. Yes. And uh, we're facing 12 bosses in this one. So that's the twist of this uh, specific chapter. We got 12 instead of 8. And uh, word on the street has it that this is going to be pretty tough. We're going to be playing with the Druid class. And we're just playing the basic deck. And really relying on getting great treasures. And... Uh, being able to cheat sufficient stuff out through Bob encounters and uh, overpowered treasures. Uh, Cadgar, the wizard dude, seems to be the last final boss in this in this run, which was ex yes, so expected. Heard. Which was expected because he's like the president of Dalaran or something. Um, I believe he is at least at some point during the continuity the leader of the current horde. Right. Yes. That's basically the same thing. That right. seems like a crude oversimplification. No, that's the same thing. Don't you look at Donald Trump and you're like, oh yeah, he's just a, he's the leader of the Kieran Tour president, whatever. Happens to me all the time, I don't know. Ah, I like the haircut. Hmm. Taunt cut. It indeed Oaken got summons. Taunt. Oaken summons. Let's go. Alright, I would have just, you know, Feral Gibra plus Blessing. Nah. <laughs> but no, we two can weeks. just. We could play. We could just, we can just spend two four two. mana for two, two. That's yeah, fine. That's. I want. I just wanted to play another Oaken Summons, man. It's been so long. That was a good card. But uh, yeah. That was we... a decent haircut for that card. Yeah. And that was also a decent card. Not a haircut though. No. I feel like it's time for, uh, well, it's definitely time for some good old-fashioned blessing of ancient times. Because that's also just, how life works for Just me. Astro Tiger fatigue strategy. Maybe that's maybe that's the strategy. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, because we always had so much success going long against the big bad bosses. Uh, yeah. Actually, the big good bosses because we're the, the bad bosses. guys here. But that's well, not all of them. Specifically, were. just Madame Goya because it's a super aggressively cheating deck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, true, but we... Yeah, I don't we, think... We could, kind of didn't have the necessary removal. I mean, kind of sort of spoilers, but I don't think we've won any, anything besides the first and maybe second wing uh, on the channel. Alright, hand of a farm. I don't like it. Small Chris. backpacks is good. Elixir of Vigor would work for your fatigue strategy, but it yeah. also... We'd obviously want to play... Um, well, they, I mean, that seems pretty good. They it? cost one, yeah. They cost one. Uh, you you draft big minions then? Well, yeah, you, you gotta get two turns when you mm -hmm. play the big minions, but once you played them, then the only thing we need is card draw, basically. We need draw, and we, let's do it. Let's take a chance at that one. See what we can I get. mean, there is a Where another is treasure that is draw two cards, yeah. two additional cards every turn. Yeah. You can't fatigue. Oh, boy, that would be... Those two together are, winning. are might I say, quite good. Malorn would work with the strategy, um, but also Legends, obviously. Uh, Legends is very nice. Um, see, if Protectors was Jades, if it was all Jades, not just one yeah, Jade, I, I might Jades take it. Sure. But I think Legends is okay. Alright, yes, yeah, Um, I definitely don't hate Kalthazad. Reggie's great. And, and Reggie's Drogs also really good. More, and Drogzor, honestly, it's, a, it's, it's pretty good against certain opponents. Carousel uh, Griffin. Oh god. Round and round. I like this. Yeah, I'm not a not a huge fan. Not necessarily because it's fun to play against, I just like the idea of the box. Well yes. <laughs> They're funny sometimes. Uh, keep Gibras for extra Gibras. Also Tortolan. Man, Astro Tiger with the Astro Tiger value is crazy. Well right now it's mostly about playing curve. <laughs> And two Gibras go into the deck. Yeah. And they, they cost one also. They cost one! It's insane. All the value. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Oh, right. They, they went round and round. <laughs> they always go round and round. Which I believe means that if he, when he casts it in the end of his turn, it's probably not great for us. Wait, if he trades, though, it will be. I Gibras. think. And he all, they always tend to trade when they can. Got a bat. We 
play Grizzly or well, Forager, I guess, right? Seems pretty good. Well, the idea for Grizzly is the longer it is on the board, uh, generally speaking, the better, but also we don't necessarily intend to go for very long, either. No, we just kind of want to rush him down a bit. Exactly! Rush the enemy! Defend Gomez. Why didn't you play that last Gibber? Oh, because I'm an idiot and I didn't realize we're getting extra Gibbers. Oh, yes. We do get extra Gibbers. Yeah, uh, right now it's still time when, I can, when I'm allowed to make mistakes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, um, I'll take that. It more gets gibbers? more problematic. I think one Gibbera and one Grizzly. Okay. Because then the Gibbera is a 2 2. Mm -hmm. Which seems like a decent idea. Uh, the question at that point is how much are we trading? I guess everything, right? Oh, sure. I don't love it, but. Uh, I like I like Gibbera's going face generally because that means more. Well, gibbers. yes. But first of all, we have a sufficient amount of Gibbera's, I would assume. Yeah. And second of all, we kind of want to retain our but Grizzly. Does possible. one ever have enough Gibbera's? Well, yes, you don't want to have trouble with Gibbera's. Exactly. So is it is it Gibbera Gibbera in Acorn Bear or just Gibbera uh, tickets? I think I think the idea with the Grizzly on uh, a lot of board is definitely to play a lot of minions. Yeah. And we do have four mana worth of one drops, which does leave us open with one mana, which is not very efficient. But then again, we're also getting a lot of Gibbers yeah. into our deck that yeah. cost one. More. That's good. Uh, that cost only one. All and Gibbers I cost only one. I think we're starting to have uh, trouble with Gibbers. Nah, dude, we're winning the fatigue game easy. Well, yes. We're also winning the game. We could, because, yeah. if we want to actually legitimately go for a fatigue strategy. I would not advise it. You could but, also just um, play like pirate or something. Okay. Yeah, let's play Seven pirate four. and uh, bearer, Dowd. I suppose, and then. He said bearer, not bear. Unfortunately. If yes. It if it was an acorn bear. Oof. Wait, like like a bear that's also an acorn? No, 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 a bear that just has acorns. Oh. Like you're like you're two things you find in the woods, right? A bear and acorns. Thanks for that that spilling of the carousel. Yeah, I was That's about to say he would have to give up one of his minions. All givers, for... obviously. All givers. All givers. It's not possible to attack with all the givers. Is it not? No, it is not. Why is it not? Because we have three givers right now. Any combination of two of which is deals lethal damage. What? He has four health, doesn't he? Yes. If you hit him with the first giver. Yes. And then the the other giver. Yes. And there's yeah. one Gibber that has one. Yeah, of that Gibber, whatever. I don't care about that Gibber. I just wanted, the, I just wanted those two Gibbers. More Gibbers, man. That was a good deck. That, that's, that's really I just like strong. how this is indefinitely got. This is definitely gonna lead to the point where yeah. we're slurring the word Gibber even more. It's just gonna be Gibber. Gibber. Is is Jungle Giants a pick? I see if that if that makes sense. Jungle Giants. Well, uh, what does Barnabas do? Shuffles more Barnabas. Well, yes, but what what does Barnabas do? Minions cost zip. Yes. Most of our minions will cost one anyways. Yeah, so, no. so I'm not sure. What's the other now, one? Now, granted, have have shuffling one mana 8-8 eight, eight uh -huh. still is the bad. It's not terrible. Uh, I like Aurora. Sledges huh? are always good. What big stuff. Um, and Malorn, and Malorn uh, goes infinite. That's good. So Do we have any non-beast things that would currently be... Affected by our Menagerie Magician. What is Menagerie Magician? Uh, okay. Give a random friendly beast to Dragon Mortal. It's basically Zubot, but... Yeah. Uh, but bigger. Uh, it doesn't look like it. doesn't look like it. So. I don't think we have any But still, I like, the, I like the big minions. No, no. It, so we'll just take definitely. It. I mean, we will get mm -hmm. dragons with the Forager. At the very least. Some point. Um, right, she heals something. Oh, she just does all healing, right? Yes, all the healing. Which is less annoying when you're actually playing healing. We're not. Well, we're playing during my guardians, but yeah. But we're just winning. Um, the fatigue game and potentially also the aggro game. <laughs> well, I mean, fatigue game is not necessarily it's supposed <laughs> to be our main strategy here. We're keeping the Kelsey? No. Well, yeah, because we're gonna get to turn eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna put money on the line saying that we're getting that it would get to turn eight in this game. Yeah, I mean, she heals a lot. That's true. But also, we will probably yeah. Have drawn an 8 drop before turn 8. No. Because we have 3 8 drops. Dude, dude, once we start pumping out 1 mana Regis, gonna be good stuff. Well, yes, uh, I agree that it's certainly not gonna be bad. We stuff. need we need draw though, we need to get draw cards. Maybe it even. It does appear to be the main concern right now, yes. Treasure, the draw to treasure would obviously be great. Yes, with that, I think that it's very hard to lose actually with. Um, 
Wait, the Guardians and just uh, try and mill her or something? Is that no? That doesn't work. It means Grizzly. What's the play? Let's add a Grizzly of Guardians, as you have already kind of discovered. Um, Let's go Guardians. I think. I think. Seems sensible. Guardians right? probably matches better, despite having a lower mana cost. Yeah. The advantage of Grizzlies shuffling Grizzlies. Yeah. Whether or not that actually is an advantage is another question. Um, okay, that has so smart. The order in yeah. which she attacked was questionable. Uh -huh. She had face and then healed face. Yeah. Tough. That is not how you play the game. That's not how Phantasm works. That too, yes. See, that is how you do it. Just saying. Yeah. Okay, that seems like it needs to die. Oh yeah, very much. Um, what time is it here? Is it pit lord time? It's 9.55 p.m. I think it's pit, pit lord time. Yeah, I mean... Grizzly pit lord? I'm never, I was about to say, I'm never opposed to playing a 7-8. Yeah, don't hate it. For 4 mana, it's cool. <laughs> Gotta contest. Oh, the damage. Yeah, it's max mana. Uh, I don't hate... Preventing card draw and smack. I thought we hit the. Um, no, I meant. Oh. See, I'm. I'm way. My vocabulary is way too bad. I, by smack, smack, I meant trade both. <laughs> that is exactly the opposite. Yeah. What smack usually means. Well, but you could also smack them in. I, I know. I say this. I, I'm not saying this very well. Um. Yeah. Out of the scales. Seems it's smacked. This time we smack for sure. And play tiger. I guess. Astral tiger. Yes. Shuffling more Astral Tigers, that's pretty good. Don't hate it. That's good here. Feel the moon. Okay. You know, the disappointing thing right now is that we do not have lethal this turn. That's Hemet, actually. Hemet is probably the best card. Um, the fact that we don't have lethal this turn means we are, in fact, going to go to turn 8. Yes. But My bad. Hammond would have been fantastic, I think. Well, we're thinning out all of our reduced copy cards. I think Hammond is a fantastic card if we can get him. Because then we... Because then we destroy everything yeah. except for the... We just stay with the big stuff and then the we win. The big stuff that we're going to shuffle afterwards. Yeah, dude. That is true. Massive. Do you want to gamble with the Reggie or do we just Hammond Beetle? Well, the, the Reggie is a 1 in 4, which is... Yeah. I, I don't hate playing the Reggie, right. but I think what I'm going to do is this, right. and definitely not win this turn, but probably set up something decent. Like that? Like that, yes. Um, can't even kill 11. The no, it already oh, heals us, right. Never mind. Oh, flash heal. Hey. Still easy. Fun fact, did you know that there is going to be a new verse version of flash heal yeah. coming to the game? Yeah, we, did. we all like no one, that. No one asked for it, but they're gonna do it. So, um, how do I construct a lethal here? I guess the answer is I really don't. You don't. Um, in which case, I guess I'm gonna do what you would want me to do, and that is... Feel squirt. Damn it. Well, yeah. And also, the, of course, the one in three um, lethal shot here. Which too, does too, not too, connect. Too slow, yeah. too slow, Reggie. But still, pretty good. We'll, well yes. play Trog. We'll play Blessing of the Ancients, and we say greetings, and then we hit him with the with the Hemet, though. Oh, we don't. You are always the guy who's all about perfectly. Yeah, we could have hit him with the Hemet. I wanted, I kind of wanted to do that also, but that was fine. Easy wins, easy life. So far, so far is looking pretty good. Can we run into Bob now? Is this time? Yes, it is Bob time. They're all not very good right now. Yes. Um, I think... Okay, so there's two thoughts right now. Besides the fact that the candle yeah. seems pretty horrible. Um, I mean, I guess form, form is not that horrible. Yeah. Uh, I guess it is not that horrible. So Swamp Queen's Call, because we have a lot of cheap minions at the end of the we day... We get a shot at least. We have... A few shots at mm -hmm. getting a really decent board, and somewhat possible charge damage. Yeah. 
Um, so the seeds is a bit of a temporary buff to our very sizable mini pool so in the deck. Shuffle first it gets then. worse the longer we wait after it. Yeah. But it is also a significant buff. Golden candle. That's kind of an emergency thing. I think we have to pick sow the seeds. Okay. I think it's the only one that'll make sense, actually. I think Swamp Queen Call also makes sense, but um, All right. uh, this is the one. Yeah, that's that's raw. I think I, that's... not a huge fan of pounce, but you know. We'll we'll take that. We'll take. That. Uh, Wrath does also draw, but uh, branching paths and first we'll, we'll draws more for sure. and better. Um, give me that. Raw bird in the house. Maybe we can get a um, an ancient of lore. Yeah. For draw, I wouldn't even hate it. It's just one card though; it's too weak. I think. Yeah, well, well, but yeah, it's gonna be a self-replacing one draw. Mm. It... I'm not saying it's great. Whoa. Well, that guy. There's also a uh, Vargoth. What do we have there? So. Well, we can get all of them. Right. We can get good. rid of all of our stuff. Right. We can reshuffle the board. As in, yeah. shuffle back in the decks and redraw. Uh, we can reduce. A, well, well, we can reduce the spell. That mm. one I barely ever play. Yeah. And we can do Tall Tales, which is actually yeah. pretty good. That's all right. Because the shuffled copies will retain the buffs. But they cost one. Because it's a part of the card. Mm -hmm. It's not like a normal buff in Hearthstone. Yeah. But it costs one. So but the cost one. reduction stays at one. Do you want a round of drinks? So... I don't hate the board that he has, so I guess. So we so. collect them all. So we collect them all. Yes. And the question. Do we replace is, them then? Well, the only reason to brood is to if to get the mins and arms that exchange after round of drinks. Yeah. But that is definitely possible. The question is, do we maybe want to tall tales the gibberer? And does the gibberer add after some text? Theoretically, it, adds you, it gives you more gibber. It gibbers. adds three mana, five, five gibbers to your hand yeah. instead of one mana, I one. I think ones. that's probably the best value option we have, huh? I think so. Let's do it. The other option would be to reduce a spell. No, no, that's not. That's not. But good. that's generally speaking really bad because you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, that's better. I think that's the better one. Let's brute. You do. Why would we brute? Because we could still fire the rest if we. Pulled four trash ones just to have it as an option. I don't think we had four trash. Probably not. Just, in our... just we had some a chance. Could have looked at it, but we have Bookmaster. <laughs> that's her name. That's all. I, that, that's they all Chow, I would assume. Bless you, Astral Tiger. So right, see... Astral Tiger would have also worked. Uh, yeah. The shuffle would have also retained the buffs, what, but it would have also retained it, the cost increase. What is it? Shovels. Oh, it shovels a copy. It says. Oh, so. So the seeds is a keep, right? I think so, okay. Fair enough. I think so. Good stuff. Because if we can get, hit that on the Gibber or two, then Gibber is grushed on. And well... They, and they replace themselves. There is two things to be thought about this. First of all, we really could have used the early drop. Ah, we're good. Um, and second of all, the minion is going to get silenced shortly after play anyways. We have, we have. There we go. Copycat. Well, you know, mm -hmm. imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. They say. Yes, they do Here say. Here, bam, bam, bam. Easy. I assume that's what you meant with bam, bam, bam. <laughs> that's what I meant with bam, bam, bam. I like how you know that. That's good. So that way I don't actually have to explain the place. It's just mind reading. So apparently two squirrels are more valuable than three arms. Allegedly. Well, that is what her play would suggest. Yeah. Alright, what time is it here? We got options. It is 10.05. Oh, tiger or Oaken Summons? Uh, I think we played the good Tiger, right? Wait, Oaken Summons three or less, right? Is that correct? Uh, Man, four pull Vargath with that thing? Get me some value in the house? Man, we could... The thing is, we got a lot, lot worse yes. ones too. We got three uh, bad so ones. So we could play the four six. Tiger. I like the tiger. Tiger is good. Tiger next time. Next time we sow the seeds, and then we just win. <laughs> Wait. 
Which one? Okay, that makes sense. Could have also silenced the tiny bit. Exactly. If especially depending on what she does next turn. Another one. Well, that's a good one. I think we're still sewing yeah, first so. because then after sew we can start drawing yeah. and also summoning. Moves forward and play, mm -hmm. retains the buff. Smack the librarian. Smack the librarian. Um, technically, I believe the hero is also a librarian. Man, sow the seeds with Vargoth? Not bad. Oh, Fell Reaver. Now it's now it's mill time, isn't it? Oh, it's mill time, dude. Tiger, tiger, tiger. So, I guess is it tiger, tiger path or tiger, tiger, tiger? It's. <laughs> we do have pounce in our deck. Yes. Which is an argument because if we paths and draw the pounce, not a huge thing, but yeah. we could then play another card. Ah, yeah, sure. Always draw first, kids. Um, he says, I saw God. Yeah, draw. Double draw is one armor. I... I I'm thinking about tigers. don't hate draw. <laughs> okay. Because it does give us buff cards. It's a bit reckless, I admit. That's just, sure, that's just not die. But tiger, tiger is good. <laughs> I like how we're removing her cards but adding yeah. to ours. Aww. But the Bob buff stick. Oh, right. They tend to somewhat aggressively trade sometimes. I know. Which is not necessarily to our disadvantage when we're playing That's good for us. I like that. Yeah. I think it's tiger time again. I mean, we hit the statue with the one tiger. No, no. We hit, we, we hit the Fowl Reaver. Okay, with the Fowl Reaver. But do we play more tigers? I think so. Or just open some. Because... What's the minion we got to the fiver? What? That's the Menagerie Magician. Uh, are those beasts? Those are not beasts because oh. they're spirits. Right, so... Terrible. Um, no, because Astral this Tiger just has more stats. Yeah, I think so. Astral Tiger. Terrible. Unplayable. Not a beast. Um, I guess Oaken summons Astral Tiger or something? Astral Tiger, yeah. Vargoth would be fine. No, I'm just saying that and the Tiger. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's weird. I love how, despite drawing one drop... It's still a freaking four or yeah, five because so we great. we uh, sowed some. Mm -hmm. Well, never mind. Seeds. But you know. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Used to. All right. Yeah, statue needs to die, and do we plop a Reggie or is that? <laughs> <laughs> of course, we plop a Reggie to to kill a squirrel. Okay. Sure. So. Well, either that or, or a ten ten grub. A uh, worm. I mean. Yeah, I think that's better right now. <laughs> the 10 10 worm? Yeah. Alright. Because Reggie's attack buff doesn't do anything, so we'll play him once once we. Yikes! Can't kill the worm. Well, about to kill us. <laughs> I was about to say, can't kill us though, yeah. But we'll, we'll just smack that, that Reggie out of existence. So the question is do we now play our Reginald, or do we uh, forager in hopes of getting some healing or something? Plus, keeping the option for hero power open. I think we could do the other thing. Yep. The magician dude. The yeah, we can play war. forager, magician, yeah, and hero let's power. Let's do that. Let's play and if we get something better from forager, we can still change our plans. Oh, yeah. Zerg is by no means better. No. So now we're getting this, okay. we're getting that, we can kill the squirrel. And we're hoping to win next turn. Yes. Look and look and look. We have enough stuff to potentially do some trade offs. Mm -hmm. uh, nonetheless, we do. Okay. And combining this, that was a good uh, throw. But he deals four or five to himself. Yeah, right now, so we deals five. We that. Uh, and then, and then we, we, we play big stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. We just do, just kind of do this. We just kind of sort of win over like two turns. Yeah, and Reggie just does his thing. The th fun thing is, if he gets out, he still deals eight. Yep. Because then he can attack. You want to construct Hydra Lethals now? I kind of sort of do. We really can't ping it enough. To... I was about to say, we just can't. Um. Well. Uh, just kill everything, right? Run the forefront to the Hydra, 7-7 seven, seven to the Abomination. Let, let, yes. Let Reggie do the magic. Uh, that would deal 6 damage plus the 8 from Reggie, which is 2 off Lethal. Yeah. I don't think there's a way we can guarantee no. a lethal. 
Wait, it's wait. Did I say just say two of lethal? I said two of lethal, right? I think so. Yeah. All right. What I am a freaking is? genius. Uh, 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 the Hydra. Yeah. Um. Hydra. When I'm when we're two of Hydra lethal, and I still have the hero power to squeeze in. It does the minions. That's what I didn't calculate. I thought it does the characters. That's what I was thinking because I, then. I'm, I'm sort of proud of finding that lethal. Then, I, then our hero would have taken I know it was by no means hard, but I, I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't need the text for it, unfortunately. So. Oh. Cold light. Yes. Undasta. Okay. Here is a lot of thoughts. This, these are all. Draw, decent. draw, draw. Wait, this no. no. Yeah. Draw. Yeah. Beasts. Undasta. But here's the thing. This is all, first of all all draw, yeah. which is we really desperately need. Yeah, that's good. And this includes a. Dragon. Murloc and a dragon yeah. for yeah. our zookeeper dude, who's Nazari. Probably magician. not worth considering in the decision, but still, is a you know I like it. Uh, Azure Drake is pr generally pretty good. We don't have damaging spells yeah. at all, I believe. Currently. I mean, Undasta's fantastic, but I, th I think well, I mean, Undasta sometimes beats from our hand. Yeah, we already are emptying our hand out really fast because we have a lot of cheap cards. Undasta's. I think we need to draw anyway, so we'll have to take. So I think draw is. Yeah. Preferable to not making use of the draw. Dreamus. Right. Exotic pet. Yeah. He builds a beast. He builds a beast. But uh, this is going to be the last game, though, for the day because the video is running along already. Yes, this is going to be the last uh, non friendly encounter because yep. we're going to do bomb and then we're going to end the video and then we're going to die in the next video. Yeah, exactly. Sow the seeds with Wargar. I mean, give her the key. I think we're keeping everything, right? Yeah. I, I don't. I don't love potentially passing the first two turns while yeah. hero powering on two, but you know. It's alright. Um, then we go with the Gibberus. But I do definitely like the rest of what, we're, what I'm seeing here. Gibberus are gonna set up a, a nice Rochelle turn. Yes. I do in fact hero power on two. Hey, my lord is in the deck. First time showing up. I don't play secrets then. I what? I don't think he does, I don't know why. I thought he did. Does it matter? Mm, maybe he doesn't. I just expected him to. Yeah. He might, he's a hunter, I mean... Oh yeah, I think he plays uh, Hidden Cash, right? Mm -hmm. Right, it's 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> For some reason, I have 3-3, man. I guess I'm hitting that in the face. Because more givers. Do we want to bar go? Yes, we want to bar off. Hopefully it survives for sowing the seeds. Yeah, sowing the seeds, and then even better, even less realistic, of course, it will also survive for the Ferocious Hollow yeah. after it, for all the armor and two card draw. But this time we sow the seeds. This time we definitely sow the seeds. And to protect our Vargoth, I guess we're killing one of the Gibberers. Alright, let's do it. Because, you know, we're ahead. We're sowing all kinds of seeds. Six, six. We're drawing all kinds of cards. I mean, these Gibberers in the deck be crazy. They be 11 11s, isn't that correct? Yeah, that's what they are. Yeah, dude. Look at this. Look at this bullcrap. I think I'm in love. The <laughs> um, I'm, I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> uh, do we not kill the Vargoth this turn? Um, I don't think so, okay. do we? I mean, we could run it in there. But we could also draw another... Frozen I mean, first of all, I howl. I, I mean, guess. I like the howl value for for Vargoth, So I just play the three Gibber or the or that Gibber. Well, it's kind of a sacrifice to poison. I can yeah, I can play the three Gibber. Right, that's fine. The Gibber and the acorns. Um. No, not the acorns. Right, but also uh, this versus other Gibber and acorn bearer <laughs> creates a better shuffle, mm -hmm. which creates a better draw later on. More Vargai. That's his name isn't even Vargas or anything like that. This is Vargoth. Yeah, there's no reason to jump to Latin conclusions there. There's many reasons. Do you want Leroy? Um, Leroy definitely what do, what do we, has its perks. What do we do here? It or is it Vargoth branching paths? Vargoth paths is fun. 
Uh, with see what we could draw first, and then maybe Gibber or Acorn Bear. Don't draw too much though, because we might mill ourselves. So Vargoth path for at least one's armor. Uh, see, the fun thing is that the Vargoth copy will be randomized. So yeah. draw an armor, you said. I think so. Yeah. Menagerie magician. Right, an armor. An armor. And play one ones. Uh, the you one mean eleven draw, elevens? Yeah, the one drops. <laughs> and, and two one. <laughs> Which is also okay, but the, I like the Gibber. You know. It gives you an 11 11 every time it hits face. Not terrible. Double armor. Double armor. Vargoth. I kind of low key wouldn't have hated attack buffs either. Yeah. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm fine with how it is. Also, pretty good Dire Frenzy. Yeah. Also, decent Revenge of the Wild. Sorry. Alright. Shall so, I say pretty decent? Yeah, it was a time. What is what we doing? Is it Lucent Bark? Is it Leroy? Uh, let's see, we have... We could just uh, earth and scales on the giver, you know. But that takes out the biggest one of them. 20, which would be pretty good. One, two. <laughs> We're one off. That's fine, though. Anyway. Wait, are we one off? Wait. What are you looking at right now? What's 10? The, what's the line? Okay, so this is, this is 10, 12, 13, 14. How did I get to one off? No, I think I think Leroy? my wife was way off. Leroy and the taunt. Leroy right? hits the taunt, yeah. yeah. So we can deal fourteen, which doesn't get us too far. Um, Wait, oh Earth no, no, no. Leroy is. Was Earth and Scales give plus two plus two? Plus one plus one. Oh, tough. So we are one on. Terrible. Like 10, 13, 14. No, Leroy goes into the taunt. Yes. Wait, and then we have twenty two on board, and we just win, right? Oh, this is twenty. Yeah, yeah, just easy. Yeah, it is a win. I, I missed. I didn't even count Acorn Bear. Oh, obvious. For what, some reason, what are we doing? for some reason, I put Earth and Scales on the Gibber. You can hero power or whatever. Yeah, for some reason, I kept counting this as ten instead of twenty. I don't know. I just didn't count the Acorn. <laughs> whatever, easy wins. We don't need the Acorn Bear, do we? No, we we ever so barely do. Yeah, right? we, that's exactly that's the two that I was missing. Yeah. Because either way, we're one off yeah. without it. Great. Give her uh, a druid. Making plays. Well, but yeah, the, the whelps are scary, man. Yeah, make, the make four up, four whelps. Making up for us not making plays. What do we get here? Clear. Randomizes the cost, which seems horrible with low yeah. cost. I, I'm not sure if the cost randomization is one of the charges I've never picked. Cloak is good. I'm not sure if the cost yeah. randomization can increase because the tavern brawl, the randomonium, does never increase yeah. the cost of a card. That I don't know. Uh. Random minion in our hand, we barely will have. I think it's cloak for cloak. sure. It's, it is cloak. That does prevent us from taunting, but I think that's not an no, issue because we don't taunt anyway. Play quickly, taunt. Cloak looks really good. And this time, taunt we bar. know that the it's things permanent. don't lose stealth yeah. when. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Dude, permanently stealth the Vargoth seems like a good idea. So recovery doesn't categorically doesn't sound bad Roar yeah. categorically doesn't sound that bad and beasts and buffs I like sound I like some of the heal I don't hate the heal either uh six drops mm. decent apple wait, six bomb drop? several apple bombs you know wait this portal actually summons a minion of its own cost yeah because usually usually they'll be like Six mana, yeah, gain five armor, some to five drop. But the restore, no, it's five the, mana, the restore four, four. six is too weak. So. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. But and crystal power is versatile. Yeah. Apple bomb is good. It doesn't have taunt, but it's good. That's alright. We'll take it. Nice and easy. So Bob coming up, I assume. Yes. Robert, and uh, we make this happen. <laughs> See if we can get something good out of this. Bobby, you know Bob's a special people. Yes, I do know that Bob's are special people. Major Dormo, dude, we're not we are not gonna become Ragnaros. We're not doing that. Uh, so first of all, Major Dormo isn't horrible. Is he not horrible? Because we control the trades. It's still not good. No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't for this is one of the very few times where I'm not a big fan of run of drinks. No, I don't, not at all. They're all terrible. So I guess it's take a chance. So what do we have? Take a chance is, this, is that a spell thing? Uh, it reduces a random card to zero. Okay. Um, it's not great, but it's. Gofu was the five health. Gofu is five health. Which the other one is. Poor. This is dis basically discover spell reduces right. cost. And the uh, um the other one is removing all okay, and putting all. Okay, we're not doing that obviously. So, so do I, we? It, it, it's two of those. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, 
I think it's take a chance and uh, dispel one. Yeah, so... Pro tip. Wait, is it a pro tip? Take a chance first, right? But what if it hits the reduced spell? That's why we take a chance first. Right. But what if this discovers the reduced spell? I think this works either way. You can look at four spells. You don't have to pick the reduced one. Yes. But no. take a chance could definitely hit the, the one. So. And we have a lot of expensive stuff, and that was Whack. not one of them. Awful, terrible. Well, you know. All right. The copies are even worse. Spell here. By three, so I think paths. it's easy. Yeah. We don't fire nobody. Keep that ready. Okay, we got At the end there, we got a good treasure. Yeah. Some might say a pretty good treasure. Yeah, the cork is pretty good. And a pretty bad Bob. Yes. And but, now we're gonna uh, fight. Well, in the next episode, we're gonna fight. Decidra Stormglory. Yeah, Aaron Totem isn't, isn't necessarily terrible. So it can be Ooh. like uh, Mantle and gold. stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it's gonna be. Uh, I mean, there's a reason why they changed Tuscar to Atomic. It was just yeah, too strong. Yep, yeah, exactly. So uh, that's gonna be next episode. Drop a like and support us and see if we can actually uh, walk right into Cadgar's Oval Office and, and tear him a new one, man. Because I really want I think you're still confusing the president and the leader of the Kirkhorn. These are the same people. What, what, what are we going on about? Cadgar, Trump, same person. They, they have the same job, do the same thing. Just wizard stuff, you know, Just magic and all. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we can make that happen. But it's gonna be tough uh, because we're gonna be running through uh, another few bosses, which are getting stronger uh, increasingly. And uh, if our deck can mm, hold up to that, we'll we'll see. But leave a like on the video. Join our Discord server. Also, the link to that is in the description, and it's free for everyone. Uh, we'll be glad to welcome you there. Talk to the community. Talk to us, and uh, get help at Hearthstone and get better together. So. Uh, yeah, we'd appreciate having you. Link in the description. Show up and uh, subscribe to Trash Can TV on YouTube also to not miss any more of our videos. Next one's coming up in a couple of days. And uh, well, the next video is coming yeah. up tomorrow. Yeah. The next part of this is gonna come up. Yeah, probably in a couple of days. Exactly, that's what I was saying. So, drop a like. We are out of here. Deja. That's it. That's it.